Um, okay. I don't see you. I think something is not good for me. Susanna, maybe if you want to like, uh, you know, like exit and join again, if that will allow you to. I'll try, maybe, okay. maybe. Uh, okay. okay, I'll try. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So it's. I'll begin again. I'll start again. Uh, hi. So I'm program. I'm Salish Patnaik. I'm a program officer with the education team at uh, Wikimedia Foundation, and today I'm taking the role of the host on behalf of the Wikipedia and Education User Group. And we are joined by two big board members of the User Group, Zico and Susanna. So you'll hear more from them. Uh, and so this welcome to the first ever EduWiki Knowledge Showcase aims around like you know, sharing some of the successful program stories from different regions of our movement. And this one specially focused on the CEE region, which is the Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, you know, you will hear more from the speakers, but Wikicamp is one of the pioneering programs from the region. And, you know, like it has achieved a lot uh, in the last couple of years, I think like, it's been happening in Armenia for almost like 10 years. And so, yeah, let's stay excited and learn more about this uh, program. But I, I will tag Jiko or Susanna to speak a bit about like the user group. And Bukola. I don't listen, Salish. Can you hear it? Oh, yeah. Susanna, we can see you now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So I invited Bukola, Jiko, or Susanna to just give a round of introduction about the user group. Anyone? Okay. Zico, will you start? Zico? I, I think Dico is having some technical problem. Okay. Uh, me too. At first I saw all of you. Now I am not, uh, I lose uh, everybody. No worries. Do we have Bukola? I uh -huh. Now I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, hi, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Susanna, um, vice chair of user group, uh, Wikipedia and education user group. Also, I uh, I am the creator of Wikicamps at first uh, on 2014. And uh, the, um, in this year, uh, uh, Wikicamp rec was recognized as uh, um, the coolest project of Wikimedia movement. We started Wikicamp in Armenia from 2014 until now. We are doing uh, different uh, Wikicamps, uh, Wikicamps for uh, uh, different ages, and also now uh, last years we started Wiki, uh, thematic Wikicamps. It, it is very helpful for uh, cont um, filling content and uh, um, certain thematic area. Um, I think Wikicamps is a, a very successful project, uh, but at the end, I will um, um, tell you about a, um, educational ecosystem, which uh, um, consist uh, in several projects. One of them is Wikicamp. Uh, our user, um, the chair of our user group is Liana Davis, uh, and Zico is a uh, um, uh, board member, uh, also involved in education, uh, um, um, and um, our user group uh, in, in Germany and uh, um, Netherlands. And um, Joao is uh, 
user group member and Philippe, uh, both they are uh, very successful in education in their countries. Also, uh, you know that uh, last wiki conference in education was in Serbia. And Bukola uh, uh, joined our board uh, and very successfully. We uh, saw her uh, participation in Serbia very successful. And we like uh, that Bukola joined our group. Uh, welcome all. Um, please start the uh, uh, um, uh, participant on different countries uh, tell about wiki camps and uh, at the end I will um, um, tell you about how, how it's going uh, um, uh, um, education through Wikipedia in Armenia. Okay. Thanks Susanna. Uh, it was lovely to hear from you and learn more about you and also the user group. Maybe I'll just keep passing the mic to, I mean, we have 15 participants, so it won't be feasible right now to like have everyone introduce yourself. So you can use the chat to let people know where you are joining from, what are, what, what are you more excited about? But I also want to like pass the mic to Barbara to ha, like, Barbara, I think this is your first uh, education meeting, probably just as you mean. Uh, but good to have someone from the CE Hub here. So if you want to like speak a bit about yourself and the Hub. Yeah, thanks. Hi, everyone. Um, so my name is Barbara. Thanks for introducing me. I am uh, I am working for the CE Hub. Uh, I know some of you. Well, I see some of you who I know. And it's really nice to see you again. Um, basically, I came to, I I know that several of our, not members because CE Hub doesn't have members, but those who are part of CE Hub, are organizing wiki camps and um, also now as we started see youth group we have some very future possibly camp related plans so i wanted to to join the session to support you to 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 meet new people and also to uh to learn more about the camp concept in general mm. yeah that's and well if anyone has like hub questions or wants to discuss something feel free to contact me anytime that's it for now. Thank you very much, Barbara. Sorry, I'm also in the meantime trying to fix something and helping Matilda to join the meeting. But I think we have a series of speakers today. Uh, so why don't we start with our first speaker of the day, uh, so we have Susanna as our first speaker of the day. <laughs> Susanna, do you want to get us kick started with what's happening with Wikicamp uh, in Armenia? Okay, if you want, um, I can uh, start. Uh, Wikicamps um, in Armenia uh, has a, a different phase. Uh, we uh, at first we started uh, in different ages. Um, uh, from uh, 9 to 15, uh, 14, and uh, from uh, uh, 15 to uh, 18, and from 18 to thir uh, 35. Uh, it's um, uh, from 9 to uh, 14, it is a camp that allows uh, also um, a paid participant. If you are not uh, Wikipedia, uh, your parents may pay and you can participate on Wikicamp. Uh, we uh, succeed in this and uh, even from different countries we have participants uh, on Wikicamps uh, because our Wikicamp is very interesting and uh, uh, very uh, um, full of uh, um, events uh, every, um, and uh, um, sport events, uh, um, everything. Um, the parents uh, um, want to their children to participate in our wiki camps. 
but it is just a learning camp. Uh, um, also, we have experience um, that uh, these ch uh, children, they um, fulfill um, Wikidia. Um, they uh, editing Wikidia because they are uh, small, um, small, little, and um, maybe uh, on Wikipedia it is hard for them, but some of them uh, edit Wikipedia. Also, the um, we um, accept uh, free uh, free participation if uh, um, uh, participant uh, during the year uh, last year he uh, or she uh, editing Wikipedia they, they can participate. Uh, depends on uh, how much they editing they can participate for free. And the uh, um, second uh, is from 15 to 18. It is uh, uh, very successful. Also, it is uh, if uh, you're editing Wikipedia, you can participate. Uh, but, um, we, we are uh, rent, um, renting who, uh, how much they um, editing. And, uh, uh, they uh, uh, got ticket to participate, and last uh, it uh, uh, from eighteen to thirty five. Uh, um, this uh, age uh, we are organizing for thematic uh, um, content. Uh, almost three um, four years we have uh, uh, medical wiki camp. It was successful. That, that's why Armenian uh, content on uh, medicine is uh, um, enough uh, developed. Um, also, we, um, we have uh, ecosystem of uh, education, uh, which I say con uh, consists of wiki camps uh, and wiki clubs. Uh, and we have camps for teachers. Uh, that's uh, uh, when, uh, most most of participants of wiki camps are uh, from wiki clubs. They are uh, during the year they uh, learn how to edit Wikipedia and uh, the more uh, active Wikipedians uh, they they come for free to wiki camps. Uh, all, uh, maybe uh, it's enough. You can uh, ask questions or something, because uh, I can speak all time. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Susanna. Thanks for inspiring us with the amazing work that you do in Armenia. Uh, it's one of my favorite project uh, as well, program as well. Uh, and if you follow Wikimedia Armenia's Facebook page, you can see like what kind of like activities they do with Wikicamps. Uh, especially interesting because uh, the Wikicamp not only involves you with like editing Wikipedia or editing Wikimedia projects, but it also involves you with like some extracurricular activities that the students or skills the students should learn while, you know, like having fun with friends, socializing together and you know, building that networking uh, with each other. So, which is why it's like, it's like Wikicam is a amazing and one of my top 10 education programs uh, in this movement. Uh, and with the excitement going on, I will pass it to uh, Violta from uh, Albanian language Wikipedia user group. Uh, sorry, yes. I got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, Sena. That's okay. Well, um, first of all, thanks for having me today. And when I received the invitation just to, to speak about the activities and projects we do regarding the um, um, Wikipedia in itself. So, okay. Um, let me tell you something about the, um, something about myself. I work as a project manager for three years now. And um, in, before I knew what Wikipedia was, because when I was uh, Googling something, there was uh, Wikipedia, the first chance or option just to, um, to read some information. Um, 
But then I never bothered myself just to learn who was standing behind all this. And so when I came across that um, there existed this group, Wikimedians of Albanian Language User Group, based both in Kosovo and Albania, um, I found it really fascinating that um, it was um, founded in 2014, and I didn't know anything about it before I was part of the this big family. So once I, I started working as a project manager and I was looking, delving into uh, more information, um, and then I, I found it really curious, the um, EduWiki uh, program. So I started reading more from uh, Wikimedia Armenia, just doing all the, all that great stuff about wiki camps and wiki clubs. And then I was, I was eager and I was thirsty to read so much information, even though like there were, there were many activities that were developed even um, within Albania and Kosovo. So since then, since three years now, um, we've been exploring and experimenting on developing several activities. And one of them is wiki clubs. And um, um, we've been really successful the, um, in the past two years. Um, also in Kosovo, we, we developed um, this past sam summer, the first wiki camp. It was a two day wiki camp um students among um many activities they also worked on creating um some articles or editing some articles but also editing on wikimedia comments and also uploading some of the pictures from the region the wiki camp was developed um but um always in in, in the space or in in the uh, in trying to be creative and using different kinds of uh, mindsets because one of the things that we are dealing either it's like a positive or a negative thing is that most of the things um are changing um within not on our side but in the the government side with the education system like um prime ministers uh, not so, sorry like the the ministers of the education systems get to change really often and you know like everyone comes with uh, different ideas so they change the rules so uh, living in this kind of a struggling uh, atmosphere, we whenever we come across some um, different schools, we try to come up with different situations or different events. So for example, we've been working on wiki clubs. So whenever we have the we find the right atmosphere, it just we try to um, come up with uh, the wiki clubs. Uh, mostly they are not like resisting the, uh, throughout the whole year. Mostly we just develop them um, through the school year, like which is like 2022 or 2023. For example, both in Albania and Kosovo, school started like three weeks ago. So imagine like the, um, the situation is still chaotic based on the school's uh, formation or rules and so on. Then we have like, we come up with the wikis thanks to Wikimedia France, which I was exposed last year in one of those EduWiki meetings uh, online. I found it really fascinating what Wikimedia France had prepared with the board game wikis. It was like very interesting. So um, we translated that, we did everything, we uploaded our document wikis in Albanian language in their uh, wikis category, like French um, category wikis. And um, yeah, it's just like everything is implemented and we're just waiting. We have found like two schools in Albania so far that really want to implement it. In the meantime, we wrote like a kind of a plan, like how many hours we have stretched the wiki games um, in 10 hours, like an hour uh, each session. 
and uh, in each session we want to have like some uh, we'll start with small um, inputs like contributions and then we'll start to um, to end it up um, with um, articles creations that the, the board game teaches students while they are playing the game and there is also like another program we're doing career education through Wikipedia. It's like uh, mostly the same as Susanna mentioned that with like uh, thematic wiki clubs. So, but uh, it's not like a real uh, or uh, wiki camp, but it's not like, um, so the gen generic idea, it's like you can work on Wikipedia class um, articles based on career education. And um, this is like a great need from um, high school students because they do this the career education subject in school, but sometimes they lack the opportunity how to use or how to like to to excel in what's best for them once they finish um, their high school. And uh, and then in the meantime, we try to do a lot of workshops. As I mentioned before, like at, at first, I mentioned that most of the people, me included in here, myself, included um, are not aware of Wikipedia and this is like the case um, where most of people know what Wikipedia is because they counter it encounter it on online but they are not aware so mostly we are trying to do this like um, raising awareness workshops which uh, most students will find it very very helpful and in the meantime also teachers are part of these workshops so they can just um, uh, start thinking and switch their mindset into using Wikipedia as a teaching tool. I can tell you more, uh, but if you do have any questions, I'm open to answering any question. And yeah, just like reach me out anytime you want to have like an, any idea or experience. Thanks, Yulta. Uh, yes, uh, we will definitely take some of the questions at the end of the meeting. And uh, it is interesting to see like how you kind of like, like collaborated or, you know, like merged two activities together. Uh, we also have like Mathilde from Wikimedia France in the call today. Maybe we can give some space to Mathilde at the end to talk more about the Wiki Keys, which I am hearing is the is the talk of the town these days. I have seen your session from Wikimania, Mathilde. In, I think it's viral in the Wikimedia world now. People are talking about this game should be like, uh, you know, mass produced and sold across something like that so we'll have you talk more about wiki keys uh, but without further ado i would like to invite uh natasha uh from wikimedia sorry i forgot that there's a new name for the affiliate or you're going with the old name but you can like introduce yourself yeah but... yes we we are still glam macedonia but uh, we will have the the with shared knowledge we will be one uh, user group so i can wait to be just one group um maybe i can share a screen if if it's possible yes yes please uh, and if you're not able to share your screen i can do it on your behalf yeah, you can can you see it yes Okay. Um, I will. Uh, I will read it. I will speak about myself and who I am and what is my contribution to the Wiki Camp in Glam Macedonia because I'm not part of organization and for sure, um, Snežana all the time speaks about Armenians Wiki Camps and uh, friendship with Susanna and how she, uh, she started to make this in Macedonia. So I appreciate her, uh, everything what she speaks uh, about it. So I will try to uh, to speak from, from my side and how I see and how I contribute to Wikip uh, Wikipedia Camps. I'm Natasha Nedanovska from Ohrid, Macedonian language teacher, and I work as a, in primary school as a teacher. In Glam Macedonia, I have the role of 
educational educator and in Ofit I lead a wiki club. Since uh, two, 2013, I have been volunteering on Wikipedia in the Macedonian language and before joining Glam Macedonia, I an independently edited and run independent wiki club before I knew that uh, Glam Macedonia started with wiki clubs. In January 2018, the wiki camp was held in Berovo. This was the first wiki camp and we were there as uh, newcomers. Students from primary and secondary school through Macedonia participate in this camp. Uh, for the work done, some of the participants were awarded and among, uh, among them, Klimen Stavreski, one of my students, one of my representative uh, from Wiki Club Ohrid on one. Um, from September to, from 7 to 9 September 2018, we participate in Wiki Camp in Doiran with students from the Wiki Clubs. Actually, uh, these uh, Wiki Camps are uh, made it with students from all Wiki, all Wiki Clubs from Macedonia and with their teachers, actually not with their teachers, with their um, mentors. Um, my role in this uh, wiki camp, it was previous to be just a mentor of students who I was responsible. And at this camp were created over 250 articles on Wikipedia on Macedonian language. It was interesting. They get uh, some prizes um, from... 6 to 8 of May 2018, Wiki Camp was held in Veles under the uh, auspice of uh, Goethe Institute in Macedonia. So uh, this camp, uh, on this camp topic was Germany. We uh, made it uh, over 500 articles. Uh, and uh, the topic of that article was, was Germany. Um, Gerion was with, with us that year. So at this camp, I participated with uh, five students. Uh, I was their mentor at the first time. Um, and uh, I was I making here on this picture some fun workshop with camp participants, with all participants. And uh, morning exercise, it was uh, my job on this camp. Uh, on May 2023, we have another wiki camp. It was held in Mavrovo. I was there with my six students, my six volunteers from my wiki club. And the, the tema of this wiki camp was pieces of flora and fauna in Mavrovo National Park. And my rule of this camp was to lead the morning sport exercise. So who can participate in wiki camps? Volunteers who have contributed the most to the parent wiki club usually participate in the wiki camp. But sometimes there are also new members who are not Wikipedians yet, but they get their first training at the camp. Each wiki camp has deleted program that includes lectures from different fields. Uh, walk and getting to know the values of the environment where the wiki camp takes place, time for sport and entertainment, and of course, editing of Wikipedia. Appropriate prices are provided for the most valuable editors of each wiki camp. This year, wiki camp was held in Mikhailovo Resort on Kozhov Mountain from 22 to 24 of September. Until now, uh, all camps are three days. They start with dinner on Friday and um, end with lunch on Sunday. Each wiki camp has tema that uh, represent a frame framework to which we stick when the lectures are given by the lecturers, but also when the particip participants uh, of the camp edit of that tema. This year, the tema of the camp was living cultural heritage. Uh, unfortunately, for personal reason, I was not able to be present of the first day of the camp, but I, uh, I tended to join on Saturday, uh, Saturday morning, but on the first lecture, but 
because the rules are very strict from organizers, I was refused to join. And uh, for my members, which are um, very useful volunteers of Wikipedia of Macedonian language, they're supposed to be there, but because uh, rules of organizers are no uh, students without uh, mentor, they um, uh, also were refused to attend this camp. And uh, for sure, I hope that I will attend on next one and to speak about it. Um, and uh, because I will be there, my students or uh, my volunteers will be there. Thanks for sharing, Natasha. Uh, we also hope you'll be there for the next one. Yeah. Um, without, I mean, I shouldn't use it again and again, but we now have uh, Neboisha from Wikimedia Serbia as our next speaker. Uh, so before I start, um, so to give you like a tidbit, uh, Wikimedia Serbia is one of the oldest organizers of like education programs in our movement. Uh, I think they go back to like 2005 when they started properly doing like the education programs, which was mostly like distributed like here and there, but they had like structured programs uh, from 2005. And just, uh, just before COVID, they completed like 15 years in education. Uh, so always inspired and excited about all the work that Wikimedia Serbia, uh, they do um, with teachers training, with wiki camps and other programs. But I will now pass it on to Neboisha. Thank you very much, Silesh. Um, I'm Neboisha Ratković. I'm education program manager from Wikimedia Serbia. Uh, and as Silesh said, uh, we started our education program in 2005. So in two years, we are going to celebrate 20 years of our education program, which is huge. And um, yeah, I'm an education program manager for, uh, yeah, I'm entering the eighth year. So um, I have um, uh, quite a... Um, a huge experience organizing uh, educational activities. Um, I'll start this presentation uh, with um, uh, with uh, with the fact that we do organize uh, education programs since 2005, but uh, we were inspired um, um, for EduWiki Camp uh, uh, with um, activities. Sorry, can you uh, just mute your mic? Yeah, um, thanks. Uh, so we were inspired for Edwiki camp um, uh, from um, Armenia. So uh, eight years ago, uh, when we organized our first Edwiki camp, we had to learn a lot from, from Wikimedia Armenia. So uh, thank you for everything uh, you've done and for inspiring us. Uh, here you can see our um, uh, logo, our uh, visual identity for Edwiki camp. So. Um, first thing I would like to talk about is why we organize Edwick Camp, which I think um, it might be inspiring for uh, all of you. Uh, here in Serbia, we don't have uh, much youth engagement, uh, especially when we talk about students, because um, for some economic or political reasons, um, uh, young people, they, they want to study, which is a normal thing, but when it comes to their employment after the after they finish their faculties, they are start struggling with uh, skills they didn't uh, got during uh, their studies. So we see at Wiki Camp as an op opportunity for them to uh, get some experience, to make uh, networks, and um, to have some uh, um, skills they can use later uh, for their internships, for their employment, and um, everything they can use later after they finish their faculties. Um, we are also struggling with a lack of motivation in general for, for volunteering. So um, people are um, um, facing some uh, kind of, um, uh, um, let's say, uh, lack of motivation because they usually uh, want to get some money so they can um, uh, survive or invest in something and they are not prepared to volunteer. 
uh, much, uh, but we are in a position we can offer them uh, their volunteering opportunities online. Uh, they help us a lot with uh, some educational activities. So um, that's good for them because they can volunteer for Wikimedia Serbia when they want, where they want, and they don't have to go somewhere and spend the eight hours volunteering, which is usually the case in Serbia when it comes to different organizations and um, companies. So um, I think that's a huge thing for their motivation because they find it very flexible. Um, we also uh, facing some need for um, wiki related skills improvement because um, uh, in educational institutions in Serbia um, and uh, like in the rest of the world, I suppose, we face some, um, uh, let's say, um, a bad image about Wikipedia when it comes to the academia. Uh, so we think that uh, we have uh, the chance to support students to promote Wikipedia in their faculties and universities and to promote in a way that it used to be. So uh, promoting wiki, project as, uh, wiki projects as uh, tools for teaching and learning and uh, they have to get some skills to do so. So at Wikicamp is a, a chance for them to get some wiki related skills so they can promote Wikipedia and other wiki projects in the faculties. Um, during the um, last four years, because of the COVID and uh, everything that happened, uh, we um, didn't have much vo volunteer capacity uh, in educational program because um, people are um, thinking about different stuff. So uh, they couldn't invest their time uh, in uh, volunteering. So. Uh, things changed um, maybe last uh, year, so we now have full volunteer capacity. But sometimes it happens that uh, volunteering uh, that volunteers are um, just leaving Wikimedia Serbia, and um, we have to um, uh, make new teams and engage new people. So um, we organized um, eight um, at Wiki camps. Uh, and during the COVID years, years so we didn't want to stop the project. So we organized two online uh, Edwiki camps in a different format, in, in a different way, but with the same um, goals, as I mentioned before. Uh, so what we actually do during our Edwiki camp, uh, first step is to find interest to, interest, interested students. Um, we think that group um, uh, of 20 of them is a maximum. So... Uh, we are re really trying to uh, make them um, motivated to apply for Ed uh, Edwiki Camp. We open a call. Uh, we send to the uh, different faculties, different uh, centers for career development. We publish our call on different website uh, for um, uh, for um, um, internship for seminars, so they can. Um, uh, see our call, uh, and after they do that, um, we um, usually uh, do some interviews with them. Uh, we do those interviews uh, online so we can um, have uh, more time for uh, all of them. It's just to uh, to get to know them, to uh, so they can they they can have a chance to present themselves. Um, we usually um, organize that wiki camp um, in a kind of isolated location, let's say. So um, Serbia is a small country, so the um, the the longest trip we can have for Edwick Camp is uh, less than three hours, but we always have some, um, uh, let's say, um, isolated location, but enough close to the uh, cities, uh, so we can have uh, activities other than uh, Wiki-related uh, um workshops because uh, we because we usually have like uh, uh, photo uh, tours and uh, we always uh, want to offer them some cultural uh, activities uh, during the Adavik camp we um, teach um, students about the wiki project we try to inspire them to um, be our volunteers we try to motivate them to promote wikipedia uh, in their faculties, and we really try to encourage them to stay with us and work together on our educational activities. Um, Edwiki camp in Serbia usually takes four to five days. Um, we have like three main focuses. 
learning about um, wiki projects and usually first day uh, um, we uh, teach uh, we uh, teach them about Wikimedia movement, about Wikimedia Serbia and our programs. A uh, second day is usually for uh, Wikipedia. Uh, third day is usually for uh, Wikimedia Commons, and the last day uh, is for Wikidata and other Wiki projects. Uh, each day we also try to offer them like cultural activities. We visit some museums, some uh, archaeological sites, or stuff like that. We also have soft skills training on negotiation or uh, active listening or communication training, which we think are really important when it comes to the promotion of wiki projects in faculties or making collaboration or partnerships with uh, educational institutions. So we try to um, um, yeah, um, teach them how to do that because we also have um, role plays and uh, we always have uh, debates uh, and we really have like full program with different activities during the Edwiki camps. We encourage them to think about the, how they can uh, do that, how uh, they can promote Wikipedia in their faculties, how they can um, make partnerships, uh, what assistant or professor they have to contact, uh, what school they can involve. So we always have time for thinking and for um, making kind of uh, project plans uh, for each of the participants. And we also have socializing because um, uh, after the day is over, we always have some uh, activities for them or we go some, uh, to, to, uh, to um, make some party or uh, we uh, have some movie nights and stuff like that so they can socialize and uh, make stronger connections between them because we always ha want to uh, they to 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 stay in touch and uh, make a partnership during the Edwiki camps as well. So um, our results are um, that we had three board members in the last eight hours, uh, uh, eight years from um, Edwiki camps participants. Uh, I think it's really important to say because they need uh, they had to be really active in our organization to become board members so we inspired three of them uh, to uh, to have an active role uh, in Wikimedia Serbia and to become board members. We had um, 20 week ambassadors in um, the last eight years so uh, we had 20 representatives officially uh, representatives of Wikimedia Serbia and different faculties. Um, in this number are not included like volunteers who didn't want to take role of week ambassadors but they do wanted to help on educational programs so we have a lot of wikimedia volunteers um maybe uh, more than 20 of them um they stayed with us a couple of months or uh, years or but they didn't have to be officially um uh, named week ambassadors uh, and we also had a lot of wikipedia editors who stayed with us to edit uh, wikipedia or other wiki projects so uh, lessons learned, if you want to implement um, Edwick Camp in your country, uh, I think uh, you should uh, have uh, in mind that uh, it's better to be out of civilization or isolated location because uh, they are more focused on what they have to do during the Edwick Camp. But our experience showed that uh, they, it has to be close to the sites or cities because uh, um, you really have to offer them more than uh, wiki topics. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you can organize uh, um, visits to a cultural institutions, educational institutions, uh, and others. But because of the practical reason, because there were a um, couple of times we had the health issues. So um, last this year, uh, one of the participants has an allergic reaction to, to the food. She didn't know that and we had to react really fast. So if we were not close to the uh, city and to the uh, um, emergency, and um, we uh, would maybe yeah, have a problem. So uh, you should think about internet because it's crucial for all the activities you're going to organize. Uh, if you are not uh, sure how it uh, works, uh, you can always like purchase um, some, um, 
internet connection you can take with you. We have like uh, the one remote we can take uh, anywhere we want. About the communication, um, this year uh, showed really um, useful to have a Viber group, Telegram group, or group on uh, any, any other um, social network because uh, uh, it takes um, uh, some time for, for them to uh, make uh, better connections so they can communicate be before the other wiki camp. Mailing list is always useful, but in uh, my case, uh, not much. So I usually use mails uh, to uh, send them uh, information. They can have them um, always uh, on the same place. And in the groups and social networks, they they can lose uh, something uh, really fast because they all, they all send messages and um, sometimes we have uh, a lot uh, of them. So uh, meetups and interviews before the Edovic camp uh, is something uh, we learned it's really good because um, they have a feeling there with us uh, long before the Edovic camp. So um, sometimes uh, when we didn't organize uh, meetups and interviews, we had um, um, some of them who um, just don't appear uh, on Edovicki camp, so uh, we lost our resources because they, uh, we had to pay for them, uh, and we had maybe to organize larger uh, bus uh, than we uh, used to have. Um, always have an emergency contact from the participants because, as I mentioned, sometimes you have to communicate with their families about the things. Um, and uh, for the uh, end, uh, motivation is really important. Uh, they always have to know you are there for them. After that, we can finish. Uh, they have to know you are going to be their support uh, in anything they want to organize, any workshop, any partnership they want to make they have to know you are going to support them. And I uh, maybe say that a um, million uh, of times <laughs> during the other wiki camp so they can uh, like be enough motivated to do their activities. Um, always try to give them some recognition. Um, if you have some certificates uh, for other wiki camps, uh, we are we also, uh, for wiki ambassadors, we also do their business cards. We open their them email addresses so uh, they can uh, feel like important in the whole process because yes, they are important for us. The university policy is always important for Eduiki camp because sometimes uh, they can uh, get some credits for participate for participating in other activities um, outside the faculty so they can uh, have uh, like um, some interest uh, in that or um, this year, we started the process to integrate Wikipedia as a recognized uh, learning tool. Um, it's an um, advocacy process. It will maybe um, take uh, years to, to, to um, finish it. But uh, thanks to the, uh, some participants of Edwiki Camps, we are uh, going to start that process this year. So um, I'll let you know when we finish it. Um, the huge um, um, learning thing is that uh, we uh, celebrated Sara Horvat uh, on DIF, um, and um, it was um, um, within the Wiki Celebrate um, activity. Uh, she's one of the, our best participants, and uh, our uh, learning thing is that uh, if you motivate them enough if you're there for them and everything i uh, said before you can have like a really great uh volunteers and uh wiki ambassadors so um this is a good example of uh, uh how we uh did it so uh i'm um really um um like uh, i would like to recommend uh, to you to uh read more about this on uh, this. Our future plans is are to continue the, the idea uh, to organize EDUC camps each year to target new faculties in Serbia where we are going to uh, promote EDUC camps. Uh, we are going to choose new locations. We are going to introduce wiki da data uh, and other wiki projects um, even more next year. And we are going to include more students if our budget um, 
if, if we have in our budget. So uh, to conclude, um, I think we have like a um, successful project and uh, we are going to change some things uh, maybe for the next year just to get even better. Um, our evaluation score showed uh, uh, exceptional results uh, in terms of satisfaction of participants uh, um, on activities and the whole organization. We have a retention around uh, 55 uh, percent uh, in terms of um, their engagement as Wiki ambassadors and Wikimedia volunteers, not only Wikipedia editors. Uh, it could be better, but for now, I think it's uh, not bad at all. Um, we have uh, different models of volunteering, as I mentioned, Wiki ambassadors um, uh, volunteering on um, uh, Wikipedia education program, also on GLAM, I forgot to mention. And I think uh, this kind of activity helps you to uh, even uh, to make even bigger regional networking because uh, we um, this year had participants from Serbia on a week camp in Macedonia. So our two participants uh, who are at week camp this year, they visited Macedonia and they were part of their at week camp. So uh, it's something we would also like to do in the future. And um, um, it's uh, something I, I, I really uh, appreciate. And Natasha, thank you and Snezhana for, for the invitation to participate uh, this year. So uh, that's all from my side. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can send me um, at uh, nebesharatkwich at wikimedia.org. And um, uh, if you have, have any questions now, I'm really happy to answer all of them. Thank you, Nebosha, for such amazing slides and for helping, like, highlighting the impact of the wiki camps that you do in uh, Serbia. Uh, so what I wanted to say is that CEE itself is like a powerhouse of like education in our movement, and wiki camp is one of the many programs that happens in the CEE region, and I. I would like you all to subscribe to the education newsletter to, you know, like get updates about what are different programs happening in our movement at different times. And you can hear more about the wiki camps uh, there. This call is also recorded so you can have access to it after, uh, after the call. And one of the interesting thing that you, you might have, like I, I personally noticed, you know, from all this conversation that we had, like in different uh, regions or different countries, uh, Wikicamp is, has like different audiences because I'm seeing that uh, in Armenia, primary school students or, uh, you know, like secondary school students are also allowed to be part of Wikicamp. In, in uh, Serbia, uh, it's mostly the youth group and we also have the CEE youth coming or is enrolling as active or is the program going on so it could be a good connect of like connecting the CE youth group with the Wikicamp participants. Uh, maybe Barbara, if you want to say something about it, or we have a question for you, sir, for you, Nibosha. Yep. Um, for the old, do, uh, do you accept old participants? That one. Yes. Chat, yeah. Sorry, I was. Yeah. Uh, it, okay. Yes. At uh, the beginning, we did that, but uh, um, the last couple of years, uh, we don't do uh, that because we have a lot of interest uh, in other wiki camps. So we try to have new people there. Uh, actually, we call some of the old participants, but only to present some things uh, if they did some activity, just to motivate others to do uh, the same thing. So. Uh, yes, we do that uh, in, in, in that way, but not as a participant. So that is. Thank you. Uh, do we have any more questions? Can or I add? Yes, Susanna, go ahead. Okay. Um, we, uh, last years, uh, we um, choose participants in another way. Uh, before uh, camp, we uh, organized campaign uh, um, workshops, um, 
and new party uh, new uh, newcomers can come and uh, learn how to edit and uh, during the month they edit wikipedia who is most more active uh, from them we choose uh, they um, they uh, came uh, come uh, more more um, uh, prepared and uh, more interesting they knew each other it's uh, help a lot that's exciting. Uh, do we mm -hmm. have a question? So I know we are going out of time. We have two showcases. So if some if people wants to like stay in the call, they're open to stay. We will happy to like continue for a few more minutes. Uh, but we're going to take the last question. I think Sina, you have a hand. Mm -hmm. Can I also request people who are not speaking to their do you have a question, Rusina? Uh, Krupal, go ahead. Yama uh, Adibul? Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, actually, when we're connecting a couple of sessions with the students, uh, most of the, uh, if you're connecting a series of sessions, I find only a few people, like uh, only two or three top people recognized and the uh, government wants to give any fact kind of thing. Uh, we have to give it only for them, right? Uh, so that makes other people may not get that much motivated to us to uh, be a top, right? Because everything is a voluntary activity. Uh, I just want to know, do you have any interesting case study uh, to ensure everybody got enthusiasm, everybody rewarded for that. When we put a matrix, only top people will get rewarded. If you put everything, something may not exist. Uh, I just want to like know, is there any good case, a good uh, activity we can ensure everybody's participation and recognition is there. Thank you. So if if I can summarize the question, it's about like, <laughs> yeah, how, yeah, yeah. how do we evaluate the project, you know, rather than just metrics? Yeah. Susanna, you have a response? Um, I, I evaluate the project. You, uh, we, um, during wiki camp, we every day announce who, uh, which article is, is the best uh, last day and uh, uh, which um, group is the best on editing or uh, uh, playing basketball or football. <laughs> and uh, each um, who from participants uh, wrote the um, um, most, uh, um, most uh, uh, Excellent article, uh, perfect article, or how to say each day, and uh, uh, um, and uh, at the end of the camp, we we uh, estimated all work, and participants uh, uh, get uh, gifts and uh, even uh, groups that they get a tour for um, uh, to visit. Armenia, uh, one side of Armenia, or uh, something like that. All their work uh, are um, they during wiki camp. They're all uh, time. Uh, there are competition in each sphere, and uh, so many activities that they are active in any sphere. <laughs> they like it. Uh, I I don't know. I answer your question because uh, your accent was um, not Salish. <laughs> I didn't catch up the question. Yeah. Does anyone have any response to that? The speakers that we have. It's mostly around like a case study that you have. Like, how do you evaluate the work of students mostly? Uh, in terms of like recognition, I think like the Neboisha mentioned something about uh, you know constant motivation around uh, you know providing them with like their own 
uh, Wikimedia accessible email address, uh, giving them that recognition of, uh, you know, being a student ambassador or something like that, uh, which could be one way of like helping them build that leadership skills. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, other than just evaluating them by the number of articles that they are writing. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to add that uh, we also have like meetings with them. We uh, always, uh, yeah, I, I always count like how many activities they organize and how many activities they help. Not in a way that I measure their metrics just to um, follow and just to, to let's say, um, always uh, checking their motivation, as I just said, and in different ways. So I don't have one strict way. I just find different ways to do so. Thanks. We are almost at time. Uh, Obi, I know you have a hand raised. Then uh, Jiko specifically requested like to present something. So Obi, you have the last question and we will pass it to Jiko. Oh, okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. I like the discussions. This is the first time I'm hearing about Wikicamp. And I would love to kind of, if we can have it here in Nigeria, but I don't know, I don't know what to do or the first step to take. So what do you suggest? How can one start it as a project in like in my country, Nigeria? Because we have a lot of uh, teachers and a lot of certified trainers here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. May I uh, answer? Go ahead, Susanna. Um, okay. Uh, you know, we uh, at first we started with wiki clubs because uh, if you have wiki club, you have participants, and uh, um, maybe you will start uh, um, teach uh, several teachers. Uh, to do something activities in their schools and uh, th then uh, um, motivate uh, students and uh, start it just first year it is uh, you can invite newcomers even but uh, um, at least um, a little prepared to understand maybe uh, maybe uh, students who, 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 whose grades are uh, high uh, at first, uh, just start and uh, advertise your work. And uh, we have uh, several um, videos in our channel uh, about Wikicamp, Wikimedia Armenia channel uh, on YouTube. You can... Uh, um, even from 2014, you you can see and see what is going on. Um, I think uh, uh, at first you can even uh, invite uh, just uh, uh, students die, uh, the, uh, who can edit uh, have skills or that's why I am saying that their grades are high or something. Uh, just newcomer, and then you will uh, enlarge, enlarge, and go there. <laughs> we started with wiki clubs, several wiki clubs, and participants of wiki clubs. Uh, we invited them to wiki camp. Oh, okay, okay. I think I think I have an idea now because we we've done a reading Wikipedia in the classroom in Nigeria and we've uh -huh. trained like over over two hundred and eighty teachers nice. and over oh, fifty uh, students. Great. Yes, yes, oh. yeah, yeah. great. I, I think has uh, a response, uh, Susanna. So uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Just two sentences. Uh, always try with the smaller groups. Uh, we are uh, we were talking about twenty or. 20 plus of them but first at week camp we organized it was for uh six or seven people uh, as Susanna said we invited them from the uh, institutions we already had partnership with so they already knew how to edit wikipedia so we uh, invited uh, six or seven of them we asked them would you like to uh, participate on eduwiki camp so we didn't organize anything before we were sure we have some participants that was for the first eduwiki camp and later you will see how they can 
Uh, you can open a call or uh, stuff like that. But at the beginning, I think it's better to think about the smaller groups and about inviting them to participate. Okay. Yep. Okay. Susanna, do you have a response? Yeah, I know you were speaking something and I had to cut you off, but do you want to add something? Uh, it's okay. We uh, we started not uh, with small group, uh, you know, but I like uh, Nebosha's answer, but uh, we started with 50 people uh, and uh, our wiki camps are uh, large, even 80 people. Uh, it, um, uh, you know, that it is another uh, level that we have uh, um, see uh, we organizing uh, movies uh, just uh, spectacles of, uh, with students everything it is uh, out of editing activities it is important as well they have to miss their friends uh, or to motivate uh, it depends on countries and the, your situation. You can start with small group or you can start uh, with um, 20, 30 uh, yep. participants. It depends on your budget, budget and to, uh, yeah. um, if you have uh, coordinator teachers, you have teachers, I can understand that you can yeah i mean depending on your capacity i think like it's best for like how you want to get started with the wiki camps uh whether you yeah. need to handle like a large group of people whether you want to start something small and get it like scaled in the future uh i think you know like one of the things that is coming to my mind is we heard from like four different speakers about like wiki camp and each of them have like different experience of like how they run wiki camps in their own countries so if we could like start working together, like documenting this practice and make like a standardized practice, you know, it is something that others can learn or others can take it forward. Maybe we, a wiki cam that is a very CEE centered program could also have like more impact in uh, Nigeria or other regions of our movement. So yeah, this is something we will take a note and see how we can like spend that uh, resources or spend spend the human resources to like document and standardize the practices. Uh, sorry, I I I I know we are way beyond our time, so I'm not taking any more questions. Uh, I have one last presentation from Jiko. So Jiko, are you ready for your showcase? Do we have Hello, can you yeah. can you hear me? Yes. Yes, thank you. Hello, I'm Zico. I'm a German living in the Netherlands, and I just want shortly to present, uh, yes, presenting Wikipedia, which will be a new video series for my channel. So um, we have talking here about elaborate uh, complicated projects, and let's go back to personal development. If you want to present Wikipedia, so what kind of skills would you like to have? So it's about the consciousness about your role when you are giving a presentation or when you are a teacher. Uh, what is your social relationship to the participants? What is their, their previous knowledge and how would you find out about that? What are good examples, for example, when you are writing Wikipedia articles about snakes, which is your personal hobby? Would it be a good idea to have examples uh, about snakes or sharks or other uh, spiders, I don't know. So finding good examples, using humor, using understandable language, uh, avoiding jargon, and uh, first of all, understanding what is jargon that we are saying, how to make a format more interesting, and how to be directed to the single person. So this is something that I'm doing for the community. This is for any country, I hope. And uh, yes, if you are interested, if you're interested in brainstorming uh, with me, so I'm writing the script right now for a 12 series video uh, video series. So please contact me. You. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, Chiku. Uh, sorry, we have 15 minutes past our time, but it was exciting to have all of you here and talk more about this amazing, amazing program. Uh, Wiki Camp. Uh, Obi, I see you have a hand raised, but I'm. S 
if you want to like just have a, like a reflection i cannot take any question but if you have a reflection no it is not yeah. it's not it's not a question somebody okay. asked in the somebody asked i wanted to answer the question how okay. how you can bring in wikipedia in the classroom so i wanted to use the nigerian experience Go ahead. we introduce it in the in our lesson plan as you know teachers we write lesson plan that we use to teach the students so in introducing wikipedia you use wikipedia to write the lesson plan all the activities you want the students to do should come from Wikipedia. That's how we started introducing it in the class. That's that's just in a nutshell. Thanks, Obi. Jigo, do you want to drop your email address or what's the best way to contact you for the project that you are working on? Um, so yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, this is the first series of the HWiki Knowledge Showcase, and this time it was focused on the CEE uh, uh, region and one of the program, which is the Wiki Camp. And we look forward to showcasing more of these uh, programs from different regions of our movement in the future. So. If you're interested to highlight some of your work uh, in the future, please feel free to uh, sign up in the EduWiki Knowledge Showcase uh, Meta page. Just give me a second, I have to find it. And we will reach out to you and help you like highlight your work uh, in one of the sessions. and. Look forward to having more interactions and in interactive engagement with all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Good evening. Uh, I don't think we have anyone who is in the later time zone. So good day and good evening. Bye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Have a nice day. Yep. Have a nice day, Zico.